So to add a camera to your DVR, uh, to add to more specifically Asian DVR, I just finished doing the install last night. It's, it's basically blank. There is nothing set up on it. I just set up my USB camera and I have converted it into an IP based camera. Uh, I might split this uh, video into two part two sessions and then have that uh, separate clip and I might link to it. Um, so I have an IP camera. So this is your situation. You will have an IP camera that you want to add to your agent DVR. So you will click on the server menu. It's the middle icon top left. Uh, you can choose new devices or new device. You're going to pick and choose. Uh, for, for me, I have a camera. I have a camera with a microphone. So I'm going to probably decide to pick an audio source first because I split the audio sources. So I'm going to click first. I'm going to add the audio source. Then I'm going to add the camera source. So this is the microphone. It says, hey, wh what is the source? I'm going to say it's a file or URL. I'm going to give it my URL to the RTSP server or the camera server that I have. Say sure decoder FFM tag. Click OK. That is enabled. You can see in the background uh, while I'm talking, it's going up and down, so it's working fine. So I always add uh, the audio separately. So this might be helpful for you guys as well. Uh, I'm not going to set up any alerts, uh, detectors. Uh, as I'm talking, you can see it's going there. You can see that, right? So I'm going to go with that. And this is for detection only sensitivity. Turn it on. Feature is switched on. Well, this is a detector. You can use it for creating alerts or recordings. As you can see in the background, it started recording, right? And I enabled it. So I'm going to disable that because I don't want to trigger it to do recording right now. Uh, so I've set up the audio. Click OK. Now I'm going to add the, this is just the audio feed, basically. I'm going to add the camera now. So when you're adding a camera, ideally, it's best to add the audio or the microphone feed separately versus the video feed. Uh, for the camera, I'm going to use OnVIF. Click OK. And it's going to say, OK, what do you want to do? Uh, for the source type, since my camera, I have an R RTSP feed running, I don't go through the wizard. I'm going to just use IP camera. Your camera probably has a username and a password. And uh, the live URL, you can specify the URL, the RTSP feed for your camera. Right? So you can get this from your camera, whatever the model and make of your camera is. It'll be specific to that. Uh, once you've done that, you can click OK. And uh, for me, I don't have a GPU, so I'm going to use a CPU decoder for recording. Click OK. And click OK. And that's it. So that's my camera feed. And that is my microphone that's my camera feed. feed. And that is my microphone feed. That's how you would add a camera and uh, split the microphone up into a separate audio device. Uh, to add the microphone, so you want to add this microphone that you see on the right to your camera now. So to do that, you, you can see that there, there's control at the bottom microphone. This is the speaker audio that, you know, you want to listen to audio of the camera. Uh, it should have by default picked the device, but if not, you go under the camera settings. So what did I do? I'm going to cancel out of there. So at the bottom left, there is the edit icon or edit key. Uh, you choose the camera and then you're going to choose the audio. You're going to pick microphone and I have defined it as a microphone one and this one right here. And I'm going to click OK. And I, I, I can configure it. Uh, let's call it say uh, my USB cam feed. If you want to like, you know, you don't want to be calling it mic one, mic two. You will get confused if you have too many cameras, right? So let's click OK. And I'm going to refresh the screen. Uh, to get rid of this, stop the audio. You can change the view. Um, where is it again? Yeah, I will get back to that. Sorry. Uh, there's a way to remove this. Uh, 
annoying uh, uh, animation there that you see. Cancel that. Uh, oh, sorry. Click on the camera feed. I'm going to give it a name as well. My USB camera running as RTSP. And I'm going to make sure that the audio is the microphone camera. Okay, good. Yeah, you can, it will still uh, create you or give you an option for camera one mic but I set it up as a separate device. So I'm gonna click okay. So if I wanna do, so I'm gonna show you here in OBS what I mean. Uh, whatever window you're on, that's what the audio, that the bottom you see the speaker icon, that's what you will see. So right now, uh, as you can see there, the desktop audio too. You can, this is my USB microphone, I'm talking, this is uh, turning green. Uh, the other one, desktop audio 2, is my basically browser audio, basically. Uh, so if I turn the audio, the speaker on, and I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to mute myself here. I just turned the microphone or the speaker on the browser for the camera feed. And you can see, now you can hear me from the camera microphone. This is my camera feed. I'm waving my hand here for you guys. And there you go. Uh, you can still hear the, but I've muted it from the recording. So you're only hearing it from my uh, microphone, USB microphone. So that's how you would set up a camera. It's simple. Uh, in the next few sessions, I'll talk about um, converting or using um, network share for storage, for where the files get stored. So, for example, for this camera, the default storage is set to the local drive. So wherever you installed your agent DVR. So if I go to storage, it'll be storing it under the local drive. That's where the recordings are going to go. So I'm going to be showing you a a method to map your network drive on Ubuntu. So I'm running Ubuntu in the background, for my VM for my agent DVR. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, these sessions that I do. Uh, comment below. And if you want, if you have questions, if you want to see something else, do let me know as well in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys. Please subscribe. I decided to show you guys how to remove the, um, the annoying screen for the audio there. So in the, I'm going to cancel out of there. Uh, you can click on the open views at the bottom there, bottom right. Uh, you see that the default view is set to zero, right? Uh, you can define the different views. So you click on the view. That's what the default view is. You're going to click on edit. And you're going to choose, uh, the edit button is right here at the bottom left there. Uh, you're going to choose layout. Okay, what kind of layout do you want? Do you want the column view? So the column view will give you a set of where the camera feeds show up on the left side and you select them one by one. So I'm going to call it, instead of zero, I'm going to call it default view. Uh, which device do you want to show? Uh, I'm going to say, I want to show my USB camera as a default device. And I'm going to call it, so the main display. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Uh, the view switch, right? So now you can see my camera feeds only. That annoying screen has disappeared. So that's my camera feed. Yeah, we just set up. And then I have the audio turned off, so we didn't get an echo. Uh, that's how you would kind of rearrange your screen. And then you can choose different setup too. Like, for example, you can do two grids, uh, grid one, grid two, click OK. Again, you get the same uh, two grid uh, option with the annoying microphone animation there. Uh, you can choose a uh, desktop view where I guess uh, this is the display. Click OK. So, uh, wow, OK, this is different. Uh, you can define flow plans, recording, this grids. So this is basically all in one kind of uh, display.
or, or layout I should say right so all so I've set my default to always be my USB so if I choose none if I do let's not do two grid I'm going to do column press grid because that's the main view that I like so Intro slot you can define hey what do you want here on the second one I'm going to define uh, let's see, I want to do this I want to use the my microphone feed the second uh, column or second row click OK now you see the annoying uh, animation in my microphone there uh, for me live video it, on the older version it didn't, didn't used to work it didn't use to refresh so I would always do the refresh at the top so if you run into that problem just hit the refresh if you don't get the uh, default layout again so looks like the newer version has uh, improved quite significantly to be honest it's much better than version 3.5 so kudos to the developers uh, it's it's really good uh, even the network share works pretty well it didn't used to work that well but it is working pretty well for this so I'm going to remove this actually it's kind of annoying so click OK so that's how you would kind of rearrange the layout remove that animation change the default view so again and the little icon edit view that's where you'll change the default so I'm sorry this is the default view okay so if I were to close the browser and connect again that's what I should see as the default view there you go so that's how you uh, do a layout as well uh, so uh, I will be uploading this video now I just wanted to kind of uh, do this bit and then add it to this previously where I ended so so thanks again guys thanks for watching please do subscribe uh, I do appreciate all the comments and the feedback so if you have any questions any comments any suggestions for next sessions please do post them below I'll try to do my best to get the feedback or get the recordings done for those requests that come in. Alright guys, uh, have a good night. Take care.